Hi hey everyone, Simon from Massey Ferguson Weekend Warrior here. Today we'll be moving a fallen tree branch that fell on the property a while ago with all the wild winds. It's about 10 metres long and it's reasonably thick, so it'll make great firewood. Before it becomes firewood, we're going to need to load it up on the trailer, and there's a few different ways we can do that. The easiest way to do it is with the GC1725M that does all the heavy lifting. I like to use the front end loader with the 4-in-1 bucket, but you can also use the backhoe with the mechanical thumb option. Depending on your preference, you can use either one, and I'll show you how to use both later in the video. Let's go check out the gear. Since I'm going to be using the front end loader, I've got a counterweight on the back. There's quite a few heavy pieces to load, so this will give me more stability and increase my lifting capacity so I can handle the heavier loads safely and with ease. In terms of equipment setup, I'll be using the 4-in-1 bucket on the loader, which means I'll be relying pretty heavily on the third function button on the joystick to open and close that bucket, relying on those grabbing teeth whenever I can. Let's go check out the backhoe setup. If you aren't going to use a counterweight, you can keep the backhoe attached as it serves as a counterweight when it is left on. Thankfully, if you are switching between a backhoe and a counterweight, it's a quick attach backhoe that mounts onto a tractor subframe and the three point hitch stays connected at all times on the tractor. So switching between the two is a quick five minute job. I've already cut the thin branches off and pre-cut the thicker ones, ready for loading and moving onto the trailer. The trailer's all ready to go, so all I need to remember now is to put the majority of the weight over the axles to keep the correct weight distribution and to avoid putting too much vertical weight over the drawbar connection. All right, let's get to work. Careful not to overload the front axle by lifting too heavy. The weight being lifted shouldn't exceed that of your rated operating load. If you are concerned about the weight you're trying to lift, a good general rule is if you feel the loader or hydraulics start to struggle with the load, more than likely it's too excessive. Back away slowly and try to find a workaround. To grab the log, open the 4-in-1 bucket and place over the log. To open, simply press and hold the switch located at the front of your joystick and move the joystick to the right. Move closer, aligning the front edge with the bottom of the log. As the front edge hits, close the bucket. To close, press and hold the switch again and move to the left. For longer items, there are teeth in the back corners of the 4-in-1 bucket to provide more grip. Be careful not to get anything caught in those teeth, however. These 4-in-1 buckets are remarkably strong and could cause more damage if you're not careful. When driving with a load, make sure 4-wheel drive is engaged and make sure you're in low gear. The GC1700 has plenty of grunt available with 65 newton meters of torque ready to go as long as you've got four-wheel drive and low gear selected. Even though there should always be a counterweight attached, always ensure to carry the load low and slowly. This will ensure better visibility around the tractor and better stability when taking corners. When using the backhoe, ensure the tractor transmission has been shifted to neutral Ensure your stabilizers are lowered and the rear tires are just off the ground. Ensure your front end loader is on the ground firmly and the weight is off the front tires as well. Reverse the seat and raise the engine RPM to the indicated green zone. The speed of the engine determines how fast the hydraulic flows through the backhoe cylinder. For faster lift times and higher lift capacity, increase the speed of the engine. The GC1725M has 26 litres of hydraulic flow at its rate of 3,000 revs per minute more than enough flow to provide exceptional digging force and quick raise and lower time. Using the mechanical thumb, set up your backhoe position and move the boom and bucket over the log. Close the bucket against the mechanical thumb to wedge the log into place. Swivel the boom around and release the log onto the trailer. There we go, all cleared and loaded up, ready to be taken closer to the house and cut up for firewood. Thanks for watching, see you next time.